Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another quick video. All right, y'all, just back with some quick news on a recent fight announcement that was made this week. Well, it looks like the uh, planned Sarah Parr versus Lupita Ganitas fight is now scrapped. This fight was supposed to take place uh, this coming Friday, uh, excuse me, this coming Saturday, May 22nd. But it looks like the fight's been scrapped due to uh, Lupita Ganitas having some visa issues. Now, she already has a visa, but according to her on her Instagram, she said she didn't have enough time to get like a uh, the P1 visa stamp. Um, they weren't going to get that in enough time to, you know, make the uh, fight date. So the fight's been scrapped. And um, as y'all know, Lupita Ganitas, she was actually filling in for Samantha Edgar, who uh, had to pull out of this fight for uh, undisclosed reasons. And, um, yeah, this was supposed to be Sarah Alpar, her, her return to the Octagon after almost a year away. As y'all know, before that, Sarah Alpar, she was a contender series winner. Uh, she had beat Shanna Young leading up uh, to uh, her UFC contract. And after that, she faced uh, Jesse Jess and uh, Jessica Rose Clark, who she lost to at uh, Bantamweight, who she lost to by uh, second round st uh, second round stoppage or submission. And um, since then, she's been out of the octagon for over a year. You know, she's had a few canceled bouts. She's been trying to get a trying to get been trying to get a fight going. You know, because she's been out for so long. But um, now she was gonna make a return this Saturday, but you know, Samantha Edgar had to pull out, and now Lupita Ganita is having the visa issues. Uh, yeah, the fight's just been scrapped. And um, as y'all know, Lupita Ganitas, she actually fights at 115. That's what made this fight kind of interesting to me. You know, kind of was a shocker to hear that Lupita Ganitas was coming back uh, to fight at 135. Because as y'all know, her last fight out was uh, back in April against the return of Jessica Panay, who she lost who she lost a controversial decision to. You know, a lot of people felt that uh, Lupita Ganitas did enough to win that fight. I myself felt like Lupita Ganitas won that fight, you know, pretty solid. I feel like she was... Uh, solid ahead on the cards, but they gave the fight to uh, Jessica Benet. So uh, Lupita Ganita, she was looking to make a return. Uh, she wanted to stay active and she wanted to get right back in there. Um, it was just the only thing that would just seem like kind of a question mark to me was her making a return against Sarah Alpar at 135. Yet, yeah, granted, you know, Sarah Alpar, she's not like a high level bantam weight, but I just felt like that uh, weight for somebody of Lupita Ganita's size and frame would have fit her, you know, because she's she stands at about five foot two. And um, Sarah Alpar stands at five foot four, so it wouldn't have been too much of a height advantage. But uh, I just thought that would have been, you know, way out of uh, Lupita Ganita's comfort zone. But you know, you never know because Lupita Ganita, she is a very strong fighter. She showcased that strength in the uh, Jessica Benet fight. So yeah, man. Um, as of right now, I don't see any fight dates uh, scheduled for Sarah Alpar, Lupita, Lupita Ganita in the future. I don't see another opponent stepping in for uh, Lupita Ganita to uh, face Sarah Alpar this. Uh, this coming Saturday, but if anything comes up, guys, I'll let y'all know. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Subscribe, peace.